Dark Side something something. They actually Dark had a side. trailer drop on this. They did. Did you not? Did no, you I, not know that? Did, man, I've not been on you, YouTube you, at all today. You, you call yourself? You call yourself a Star Wars channel? I, I I I have not been on on it all today. I didn't see anything on it. So no, I've not even seen this. Well, Star Wars takes us back, I didn't know we were there already, to the High Republic in first trailer for the Acolyte. Uh, can somebody tell me what was the first time they took us to the Let's Get High Republic? Some books. Yeah, the, uh, what, uh, it was, well, it was the, it was the books, the comics, and then it was that, uh, no, no, that's that's uh, something else. I was thinking of that Resistance show, which is the sequel trilogy. So yeah, yeah, it was the it was the books, uh, the High Republic. All right. Well, nobody wanted to go back and look at the sales of those books. But anyway, all oh, right. Let me read. Abysmal. Let me read into this real quick. Of course, the trailer is interesting, Nick. If you want to check it out, you can. Um, I'm trying to scroll the wrong screen. There we go. Says it's it's now been five years since. Say, I uh, think you might be able to get away with showing this one. Nope. Nope. Claimage already happened. Uh, Mr. H got uh, copyright claimed already today for doing a review on it. That's why I did mine the way I did. But anyway, well, Disney was used to be cool about it. Guess not anymore. Yeah, and some people have been getting away with it, but I'm not going to take a risk. I was told not to. But it's now been five years since Lucasfilm and parent company Disney made a new Star Wars film. Instead, stories about a galaxy far, far away have been chronicled in the Disney minus television shows and in multimedia project of books and comics that you might not even be aware of, of the let's get high repugnant um, set a few centuries before the Skywalker saga begins. That's a hundred years actually before the fandom man ass. Um, it's going to let's see uh, the high Republic is so named because the Republic and the Jedi uh, order at the height of their powers, and the Sith are in hiding, believed to have been vanquished, and the Jedi instead face a pirate horde car called the Nile, or the Neil. The Nile? There's a death on the Nile. Anyway, though these two modes of Star Wars storytelling combine the Acolyte, a new Disney blah blah blah, during the High Republic era, uh, we at Slash Bologna Sausage, um, Saw series footage in 2023 at Star Wars Celebration, which is where that trailer leak came from that everybody saw. And now the first trailer is officially dropped. And so, hey, look, it's um, the chick from Matrix. By the way, during the course of the trailer, she does Kung Fu. Oh. Uh, yeah. So still, the officially released material focuses more on the Jedi uh, because, well, that's not who's going to be the real star of the show. It's going to be the Sith, by the way. Uh, the synopsis of the Acolyte is as follows. A former Padawan reunites with her Jedi Master to investigate a series of crimes. But the forces they confront are more sinister than they ever anticipated. So, there you go. So June it's basically 4th. the prequels all over again. It's the prequels for the prequels. Well, that was yeah. the same shit the prequels was about. And and I like have Obi -Wan seen that I, I just pulled it up. It's the same trailer that was showed at Celebration that leaked out. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Sundowners, I'm going to jump on your Super Chat when we get to those. Thank you for that. For those of you doing it, we will read Super Chats between sequences. We read them all. All right, moving on. Let's take a look at the next story for this. The Acolyte Creator break. Whoa, the Acolyte Creator. We get a little word from Leslie Hedlund, the former uh, assistant for uh, one Harvey Weinstein back at the he is when he was prowessing places anyway so she's gonna break down the first trailer for her underdog it's an underdog sith story yes oh. we're we are we are all about the bad guys in star wars now so yeah so she she this is a this is the chick that's in it amanda whatever her name is uh so star wars is going back in time i guess they got a delorean um, after months of buzz, Disney has finally dropped the first trailer and it's got these two people in it. It's set an even longer time ago. Da, 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 da. So speaking to the EW. So instead uh, of being a long, long time ago, it's a long, long, long time ago. That's right. Yeah. So even longer, longer time ago. That's right. So we, it's our, everybody's favorite red lightsaber wielding baddies. 
So I really wanted to tell the story about the Sith, says Headland. That was kind of a dream of, uh, of my dream Star Wars idea, but it felt like the time period to do that would be in something pre-Phantom Man-ass. The, that seemed to be the most interesting trajectory for the Sith. How did the Sith go from the rule of two and being quote unquote extinct to Palpatine coming in into power without the Jedi knowing about it? Well, we all have that, that second question. Um, most live action Star Wars stories are set during or after the fall of the Jedi Order, but the Acolyte finds the galaxy's peacekeepers at the height of their powers. Uh, set at the tail end of the Let's Get High Republic. So, continuing, if the Jedi are this benevolent institution at this point, then anyone who opposes them would be an underdog. Okay, understood. I love the idea of a character that was unknowable in her goodness or badness. Edlund adds, strategically, my costume designer, Jennifer Bryan, and I talked a lot about how George Lucas utilized color and how purple was a color you didn't see very often. Palpatine wears it, but it's that idea that red and blue made purple, of course. So, yeah, they don't want to be binary at all in this show. So, in the trailer, Steinberg's character faces off against a Jedi played by Matrix alum Carrie Ann Moss in a brutal fight. Well, it's Kung Fu with the Force and a, a knife, actually. Um, so she wanted to showcase elements of Wuxia. W w I don't know what that Wuxia is. Wuxia martial, martial arts. Yes. W yeah. Wuxia. So they want to do Wuxia martial arts, everybody. <laughs> Wuxia. Wuxia. And classic samurai films originally inspired by George Lucas. So there you go. Oh, by the way, Stanberg uses she, they pronouns. So it's just because I know you guys were all. That's important. Curious. It's yeah, very, we, I, I wanted to definitely know that information. We used to call Amandala Bruce Lee because she was so fast. We had we had to keep saying, you have to slow down. The camera's not picking up that it's you. You look then like she kept going. I'm a she her. You God, look like am. you look like your your stunt double. All right. Mm -hmm. da, 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 da. I'm bored already. Yeah, me too. All right. But you know what? No, 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 no music, <laughs> no music, Tom, no music. Well, you can't get blood from a stone. No, you can't get blood from but a stone. Apparently, <laughs> you can on the echo lights. You can. You know it may not be good. It may not be, be right. right. But we're gonna bleed that stone. The Star Wars. <laughs> uh, What's wrong with the song? I love it. It's great. It's the, that great. was a nineties nineties uh inspiration. It's not. It was song. mine. Uh, That's awesome. Mine. I love it. Oh my! Oh I only my get God. so you many uses that, out of these songs, you know, culture. That should be the song that they play when two of the lesbians in <sighs> the act like fall in love. They're old yeah. after about a week. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Uh, well done. Uh, I will say this, that um, after seeing the trailer, uh, I decided it was uninspired and uninteresting. But I'm interested in the two Star Wars experts that we have on our panel and Tom. Uh, we're going to start first with... Uh, Tom's mad. Uh, Why? <laughs> so, nah, I'm not an expert. <laughs> uh, we're going to start now with the channel that is all the Star Wars, Echo Base Network, and the man that helps run it, Nick. Nick! What do you think uh, of the trailer? What do you think of the show? So I, I saw this uh, this leaked trailer back after uh, Celebration, after they released it Celebration last year. And, you know, there was a couple scenes in there where I was like, you know, that, that was kind of cool, you know. But, you know, we know who's involved in this project. We know who the showrunner is. We know 
what the culture is at Disney, and I, I'm gonna. It, this, this might be surprising to some people out there in the chat. I'm excited for this show to come out what? because I'm gonna have so much fun destroying it and picking it apart because it's gonna be ultimate trash. And I'm excited. I am excited to uh, have fun with this. Like I, I'm not gonna be mad. I'm not gonna be pissed off. I'm literally gonna be laughing the entire time. Uh, it's going to be so much fun. I, I can't wait. I'm excited for it to come out just for that reason. Uh, because, you know, apparently, originally, this was all just a sizzle reel, and we weren't actually getting this show, and it was a fake show. And now it's actually happening, and uh, and I'm going to have fun with it. It's going to be a complete shit show, and I cannot wait. <laughs> well, well, Tom, do you, do you this, this wasn't a real show, right? Tom? No, it was just a sizzle reel. All right, fair enough. <laughs> All right. On. Well, I look, I share your enthusiasm for the content we're going to have, Nick, but I, I, I think I, 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 I don't think Mikey does. Mike. I was gonna say before we let Mike blow up, just oh. let me real quick, because I can bounce off of Nick real easy. Because here's the oh. thing. Star Wars used to be my life, right? Like yeah it was star wars everything was star wars i was never a big fan of the prequels but i didn't like them because of how much i loved the original films and same you know that's a whole nother conversation to be had here but once star wars went to disney and things went the way they did and we're at where we're at now i did this long video that i think i took down ever since but i should probably re put it back up where basically i compared star wars to going through a breakup right oh like yeah you, the first yeah. first movies are basically like that high school romance you had when you were young kids. Everything was amazing, and then you drifted apart for years, and then you got back together. You thought things were going to be great, and the prequels just didn't quite live up to what it was before, so you parted ways again amicably, but you parted ways. Things were cool. Maybe you'll get back together in the future. And then the Disney Star Wars thing happened, and after you know we saw the trailer for Force Awakens and all that kind of business, it was like, Oh my God, not only are we getting back together, we are back, baby. We are hot. Maybe we're going to get married. You know, like this was like a big thing. And then all of a sudden things went to shit real quick. You started to yep. realize that you were being lied to from the start. Like clearly this chick had some work done. She's been run through like a train, what have you throw whatever, you know, kind of analogy you want in there that turns you off of this entire relationship at this point, or this person isn't even the person you thought they were. She's got Years credit card anymore. debt, bad credit, credit card debt up the ass. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. She, has, mean, just, she has she has two six loans. Kids. She, has, she has three <laughs> three warrants out for arrest. Two are a felony. One, two baby daddies in prison. Only one's yeah. a misdemeanor. And you and now there's this guy that's following you around when you're driving your Audi, and he's in a biker gang, and he's a former Hell's Angels member, and. Oh, wait, Sounds like Mike's had yeah. some experience here, but anyway, Mike knows exactly what I'm talking. So I finally said, I just look, I got to break up with star Wars. We got to break up. This is it. There is no getting back together. So even at the point when people were like all hyped up with the Luke Skywalker, baby Yoda stuff, like for me, baby Yoda was just kind of like, yeah, it was kind of this thing. Yeah. Okay. But I was never like so into it that it emotionally got to me. So like, if I did, it would destroy me. Right. Like it's, it, I cannot live like that every day. So I, I, I sympathize with all the star Wars fans out there who are still holding on to that mantle because I had to let go. I just had to go, you know what? This is it. No more for me. As much as star Wars was a huge part of my life for so long. And empire strikes back was my favorite movie of all time. Bar none. I just had to step away and it's even gotten to a point where I, I don't even watch the original films anymore. I don't buy anything Star Wars anymore. A lot of my Star Wars stuff has been put away or I've given it away. Um, yeah, I just, I'm done with Star Wars. So I'm like Nick on this. The only thing I'm going to get out of this is the thrill that you get when you get your picture on the cover of the Rolling Stone, basically at this part, because wow, I don't cool. give a shit about Star Wars anymore. To me, it's all about, I guess I'm going to goof on it if I'm going to watch it at all. But now let's let Mikey. Let yeah, let's, let's go let's, off. Let's, yeah, let's. Oh, no, give, I'm going to say most of the Mike. We're still talking about the acolyte. We're not even to the George Lucas part of the oh, story. Okay, all, all right. right. Well, yeah. well, well, carry the show for a minute and and tell us what you think about this acolyte show. What what are your expectations? I think this what, uh vi this video. The, I didn't see the leaked one when it came out. If this is the same one, I, I what I saw, I saw today, and what I saw was horrific. 
what I saw was garbage and trash. Now, look, maybe call me old fashioned, call me racist. I could not find a white dude anywhere in that freaking video. And yeah. in, in the opening scene, they're like panning to the kids and you got Asian diversity, Padawan or uh, what do they call youngling? And then you got the minority youngling, another minority youngling and another youngling. And this is, yeah, I'm like, oh, my God. And the ridiculousness of uh, of the diversity in every shot is just so freaking glaringly like it, like I'm wondering, where did they cast these people? Did they go to like a homeless uh, uh, encampment in L.A. and say, hey, we need some minorities. Come on down. And that's what they did. And that's how they cast this thing. I mean, it's like in a galaxy far, far away, which I guess in this case is the Acolyte, which is a prequel to the prequel. So I guess in a galaxy that was far, 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 yet even further away. And then a long time ago, that was not only a long time ago, but was a long, 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 long time ago. There were no white dudes because I didn't see any white dudes in this trailer. Now, maybe I missed a brief one like that blew by me. I saw Car I saw uh, what I'm, most people would call her Carrie Ann Moss. I'm going to call her uh, uh, Karen Ann Jedi. I saw Karen Ann Jedi do some weird stuff like, you know, but the action looked like crap. This is the, Here, I will reenact one of the action scenes. It was kind of like, I mean, it was just like, you know what I mean? It's like. It was just ridiculous, ridiculous. I would rather go and watch a $2 cinema uh, matinee in the afternoon and watch an old 70s kung fu movie. Yeah, now, it's like Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon mixed right. in with Star Wars. <laughs> right, or, or as we call it, Crouching Mexican, Hidden Immigration Agent. No, no, I mean, no, this thing was, this thing, they clearly, yet they clearly spent a lot of money on this. You can tell that they definitely spent a lot of money on this thing, or they tried to. Now, so, you know, it has that kind of Star Warsy glass, glass. But I thought the sizzle reel was to get money, Mike. I'm so confused. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, would you get off of that? I'm in the middle KK of my rap. On. <laughs> Dude, get off every show you guys bring this up. It's get it's getting old for me as a viewer. I'm look, I'm in the middle of my thing. I, okay, I agree with go. you on every, see now I'm distracted. I'm gonna stop talking. No, 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 no. You, you you said that it looks like they spent a lot of money on yeah, it. That's, that's my I only viewpoint. You. That's all I got to say. Uh, no, you had right. more to say, Mike. No, I don't remember what you got me distracted. No, you had more to say. Come on. Uh, no. Next topic. No, uh, well, no, we don't get to shuffle off that quickly. We have to acknowledge all the amazing people in the chat that sent a bunch of super chats because they loved what you were saying there, Mikey. Oh, wait till you get to my next segment. I'm I'm holding back, Tom. Don't you wait? Don't you think I forgot about you, Tom Connors? Just hold on. I'm coming back around. I'm <laughs> I'm, I'm taking a lap around the rant wrap. The R A N T. And, and this is gonna be live reaction for me because I don't know anything about this George Lucas news. What? No, okay, well, we'll, we'll, I, I, I've not been on the internet all, all today. <laughs> we're going to get there. You How do you jump? even have a Star Wars channel? <laughs> you guys are jumping ahead. I'm getting the way between me and I, I can't be on next to him. Just put me in the I, I can't get me, move me around. Somebody. Yeah. Move, yeah. There we go. I'm wait. Tom, <laughs> hold me back. I, okay. Okay. 